My client paid me 20k for a simple haircut. Here's why, cause most barbers will push it back if they cut them every week. But I make sure his lineup is always the same every week that I cut him. And here's the breakdown on how he paid me 20k. 200 bucks a week times 52 weeks in a year equals 10,400 times. Two years equals 20,800 that he paid me. And this is the cut. He comes every week because I'm consistent. If you're in the LA area, click the link in my body. Book your appointment. That was perfect. You made fit in shape of line. In this video, you will find a bundle of the transformation for you. That was perfect low mid fade with shape of line. I'm chopping his entire afro off because he needs to look more professional for his new job. So we're going down to the wavelength to give him a nice clean look. And I'm going to give him a clean taper on the side and then lay down his hair with the wave foam and do red. And this is his before and this is his after. He paid me 160 bucks for the service. He didn't want his beard touching here in the LA area. All of this sharp haircut transformation by the best barber around the world. His dreads are leaving him with bald spots because they're pulling so hard. So I'm chopping them off so that doesn't happen anymore. And we're going wavelength on the top with a mid bald fade on the side. I then lay down his hair with the wave foam and do rep. I then line him up nice and sharp. I then add the semi permanent dye to fill in those alopecia spots. And this is before and this is after. He paid me 240 bucks to bring him back to life. If you're in the LA area, click the link in my box. Book your appointment. Skin fade with shape of line for big receding line it's looking so sharp this man have huge beard wow that was sharp line The mid drop fade for 368. A uniform beard transformation by Sparbrand. To start off, I'm going to apply some pre white so lineup solution, then so inside my little bars to set the foundation. Then I'm going to grab my comb and visualize where I want the line to be. After that, we're going to make about a blaze width guide in the middle of the head, brush that down, and then hit it again just to be thorough. Now we're going to walk the blade from the middle of the forehead all the way to the vertical bar. Then I'm going to add some finishing touches, and then that motherfucker's crispier than your grandma's ankle. <laughs> 
if you're in Shadow, Nebraska, and you need this type of lineup, click that link in my bio. I'll be waiting. Quick reminder for all my barbers today, there's another level to reach. Stay focused on your goals and don't get complacent. Because once you're the big fish in a small pond, you don't just stay there. You go and find the fucking ocean. My boy got done dirty. They over-enhanced and pushed back his hairline. I have to scrub it for five hours. I finally removed all the old hands, gave him a high taper to bend his vertical right to where they belong, lined it up at the correct height, and added the correct amount of enhancements. If you're in the LA and getting your hairline fucked up, just leave him a bottle to book. Everyone has on haze with just a red flag. That was classic mid fade. Such a classic mid fade here. See, your problem is that you keep rushing the process, you ain't trying to be patient. Good things come to those who wait. Yeah. This ain't a sprint, this is a marathon. And the more you keep worrying about the future, the more you're gonna get lost in the present. You gotta get up and just put one foot in front of the other, bro, and just have that blind faith. But what I will say is that we don't know when it's happening, but we know what's coming. We ain't putting this work in for no reason. So for that, I say keep grinding and I believe in you. What kind of hair do you use? Uh, If you're tired of getting weak ass low tapers, get this haircut instead. This haircut is called a mid drop fade with no C cuts. My client's vertical bars have low density, so we're gonna make our guidelines smaller towards the vertical bar and bigger towards the occipital bone where we contour the fade to his head shape. Voila. If you're in Shadow, Nebraska or any of the surrounding areas and you need this cut, click that link in my bio. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting.
I call it hairline and receding, so I'm making sure not to go too short, expose his corners, or leave it super long either. So I'm going in and giving him a burst fade, then going in and trimming the top, but making sure not to go too short, exposing his corners, or leave it too long either. And this is the final cut. I left some length to cover his corners and give his hair a more full appearance. He paid me $220 for this haircut. If you're in the LA area and you want a solution for your receding corners, click the link in my bio to book your appointment. Clark's getting the drop fade with curls, and I'm making sure not to take his fade too high like this, or leave it all patchy and blended. So I'm taking my time to get his fade blended right and give it a nice transition into the top. And then I'm adding the finishing touches with the razor. And this is the final cut. He paid me 180 for this. If you want your curls done right and you're in the LA area, click the link in my bio to book your appointment. That was best trip and transformation, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on the post notification to get updated for every new upload.